Hey people, this is Fernando here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to download and play Flash games on your computer without needing any kind of internet connection or a browser to play it. Um, the main goal today here is to show you that how this works and that this works. So watch till the end, okay? I'm going to show you step by step what you need to do. So, first of all, I'm going to show you a flash game I downloaded in the past, and I'm going to show you that this works. It's called Gemcraft Labyrinth. I like the game. Don't know, don't ask me why, but I liked it. And I'm going to show you that it can also save loads and saved games, and you don't need any kind of internet connection. Right now, I'm playing this on my computer with Adobe Flash Player 11. I'm going to show you how to download it later. Okay, so keep in touch. And start game. And as you can see, here's my saved game. I'm not using any browser. Okay, I know Firefox is open here, but it only has the links I'm going to show you later. Okay, it doesn't have any kind of Gemcraft playing. Okay, so let's let's begin. I'm going to show you how to download it first. Okay, so first you need to put the link here. On the URL, I'm gonna use the old URL I, I had from the Gem Drive Clambrit. Okay, so you just put it, do your do URL here. You go to click I have read and agreed to the terms of the service, and then you click objects and you click get files. Okay, I'm gonna do it all over so you can see what happens. Okay, so you can see the link here. I have read and agreed to the terms of the service. It can show you the terms of service if you want to read it. I think it's unuseful, but whatever. Click objects and just go to get files. It gives you. It usually gives you two links. You can download either of it. I prefer to choose always the second one. Uh, it's a superstition I have. Don't ask me why. You can choose any of it, but. I prefer to, to choose the second one. Then to get the file you need to right click on the second link and click save the link has. Right click save the link has. You got to flash games. For example it's a folder I created. Name it um, trollolo save. It will save the the flash game as you can see it, it has an extension named SWF it means it's a flash F object okay. and it's finished okay now that you have the object I'm gonna show you how to play it because many of you don't have the Adobe Flash Player 11 you may think you have but you don't because it usually downloads to your browser and I'm gonna show you how to download it to your computer okay there's a version named standalone and you need to have it to play it on your on your computer without the browser. So you go to Google and you write Adobe Flash Player Standalone. Stand alone, okay? But together, stand alone. You go to the first link, the Adobe link. Uh -huh. It says a version, whatever, blah, blah 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 blah. And you're gonna search for the standalone. Okay, sorry, I had to take a call. Um, when you go to the, the Adobe Flash Player uh, websites, you need to download the third link here. It's the do it's down it says download the Windows Flash Player 11.6 Projector Contact Debugger. So you're gonna download it, click on it, save as. Okay, it's gonna save. It will take a, a while because my internet is a little slow, so I may I may speed up the downloading. All right, it has finished, and when the load finishes, you have all you need to do is save this installer because it won't install anything it's actually um, how you say it? the application dx okay of the file so click on it execute it 
and you have a top slash player 11 to play uh, functionally. Now, open the, the filing lands. I'm gonna put the troll along. Okay. Uh, where is it? Okay. Files, troll along. Where are you, troll along? Fuck it, whatever. I need it another way. Drag it over, for example, and it will work. Okay, and you have the game playing. Troll the is working. So this is pretty simple. You, you need all you need to do um, in a summer is go to file to hd.com, download the file, the SWF file, download the flash player 11, the projector contain debugger, and then play it. Just play it. It's simple as fuck. Okay, I hope you liked it. I hope you, you liked this tutorial. Um, leave any questions or suggestions in the comment section. Uh, I'm a, an active user, YouTube user. Sorry. So, all you need to do is just ask and I will answer. Okay. Thanks for watching. Okay, goodbye.